know, yesterday when I got up and I sat in my office, closed my eyes, and I just said, Lord, you know, um, how, how is your day? And immediately the thought came, well, his day must be perfect because he's perfect, right? But at the moment I said that, two words came to my mind, and I know they came from the Holy Spirit. The words quench and grieve. And I knew that they were in the Bible. And today, I just want to talk about one. I want to talk about quench. And we find that in 1 Thess Thessalonians 5, 19, where it says, quench not the spirit. Now, a preacher I, I often listen to says this a lot. Let the Bible interpret the Bible. So Ephesians 6, 16 says, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So to quench here is to not receive the devil's thoughts he puts into our minds by telling him truth, which will quench his lies. So now in light of this, to quench God's spirit is to not receive his thoughts he puts into our minds by telling him our thoughts, which quench his thoughts. Isn't that something? We can quench the Holy Spirit when we, when he asks us to do something or not do something or say something or not say something. And instead of obeying his voice, we do, we quench his voice and we do what is right in our own eyes. Isn't that something? I pray this has been a blessing to you that um, just pay attention to those spontaneous thoughts that come into your mind. They're coming from the spiritual realm. And yes, the enemy, he shoots thoughts into your mind, but you'll know the difference. I like to uh, use the test James 3.17, where it says the wisdom from above is first pure and peaceable, etc. Look at that. But honestly, when God speaks to you, God is love, and he always will speak to you with love. Your, your, your soul will never lose its rest, its calmness when God speaks to you, when God sends thoughts into your mind. But when the devil sends thoughts to your mind, you know that there will be no peace in your heart. You will have a restless soul. So just that's, that's, it's so easy. Just pay attention to that. How do these thoughts make you feel? Yes. So do not quench the Holy Spirit by listening when he speaks to you and obeying quickly because he is our creator. He knows us better than we know ourselves. When you obey his voice, you will always be doing the right thing at the right time. 